Hey gang, Scott here. I have a compositing tip for you for using on one to do a very straightforward compositing for landscapes. This is something I'll do often where I've taken a series of photos of the same scene and there's just one or two things that I prefer uh, from one photo over the other. I've got an example of this that I, I think is, is perfect for this type of technique. I'm gonna share it with you now. So I've got these uh, photos of uh, you know one of my favorite lifeguard towers in uh, in Torrey Pines where uh, I, I just I, I enjoy this subject and the the clouds were pretty cooperative right you know I I like I like the clouds that are going on here uh, that they, there's there's like some open space this is kind of like you know almost beneath the opening there. Uh, but the the ocean I'm a little less of a fan on this photo and then you know a couple moments later took this shot I kind of like the way the surf is the beach hasn't changed at all the sky is not as good to me as this previous one here so I want to take the sky from this and I kind of do like the the fisherman there for a for a sense of scale but I want this beach and so this is a lightweight job for layers and layer masks and uh, I'll do this in uh, I'll do this right in uh, in, in effects because I'm in Lightroom. I know I want this photo to go into effects to do work on it. I'll take both photos into effects and load them in as layers and do the work there. So let me show you how that works. Go to my grid view. I'm selecting both of these photos. File, plug in extras, and open as layers in on one effects. So I'll send this over to on one effects as a smart photo so I can make edits later on if I realize I need to tweak one of the settings. We'll get this over into effects and do the blend. All right, those two images have landed in effects and you're probably noticing, oh gosh, you know, Scott, you've got, you know, like you got vignetting at the corners, the, the horizon's all tilted. I know all of that. I just want to keep the photos exactly the same uh, and do my blending, my compositing, and then I'll go correct things later on. For this video, I want to show you the compositing thing. So top image has the ocean I like, right? So I turn the off, we see the ocean disappear. The bottom one has the sky I like. So I'll call this one, double click, ocean. And this one is sky and fisherman, right? So how do we do the blend here? Well, for the ocean, the, you know, the way I tend to work with my masking is I like to turn off the top layer. I'll invert the mask so I don't see any of these pixels and then I use a mask to reveal the pixels that are here. You know, show them. It's a simple gradient. Linear top will work great. I'll click on it and in this case I will align it with the horizon, lower it down a little bit, and the lower part of the clouds really didn't change. There's nothing moving at all on this tower and so what have I done I have revealed the ocean in this uh, this layer here you know if I turn this off we'll see the bottom part of the photo change I've got the ocean I like I've hidden the sky so I see the sky from my sky and fisherman layer and that's exactly what I want now I mentioned I liked that uh, fisherman too. So we'll go one step further. We're going to do a little uh, a little bonus blending here. Is I want to get that fisherman and bring uh, him or her back into uh, the scene here. And once again, I like to do that with you know individual layers. So I know I've got the fisherman on this layer here. Let's duplicate it. I'll drag it to the top. And in this case, all I'm interested in is Fishman. I will invert the mask so it's completely hidden. Now the, the trick, let me, let me turn this back on for a second. Looking at this area of the photo, the person is mostly in silhouette. Dark blue on top, looks like some khaki type color on the bottom, a little bit of reflection. These tones are all darker than the ocean and the whitewash. And that's a key thing because I can leverage blending modes. And if I use the darken blending mode that says the layer I said darken blending mode, only show me the dark pixels compared to what's beneath it. So when we look at that in the layer stack, 
Let's zoom back out here. And I'll close this up for a moment. Imagine we're only paying attention to, actually let's do like this. We're paying attention to this area. This is where we're going to do our masking. Turn it off. What do we see here? Mostly the same tones. Some bright whitewash, some moderate uh, you know, mid-tones there and the sandy tones. And then we see a darker silhouette. We'll take the fisherman layer. I actually don't even need the masking open right now. Change the mode to darken. Now look what happened before and after. Right? We see some changes because like this area here in the layer above, it's darker than what's below. Right? This was all whitewash and in the fisherman there was more going on. But all I've done is change the blend mode. That's already gotten me this fisherman more isolated. Now I'll do my invert, hide everything. Got my brush, paint in, and in this case, I'll probably start with a lower opacity and a smaller brush. The fisherman was right about here, so kind of like from size, we'll kind of come down to about here. Great, invert again. And now I'll just kind of brush through. Once, make the brush a little bigger, a couple of clicks, brush a little bit smaller again just to bring out the silhouette. And I'm leveraging both the feather of the mask. If I turn the mask on, you can see there's a really nice feather and I can even smooth that out even more with the feather slider. Plus the dark and blending mode so that I get that fisherman to come back into the scene. And that layer is just doing before and after. And I got a little cleanup to do there. If I look at it, it's a, it's a little bit of a messy masking job. I have some some work to do there. So grab the brush, paint out, you know, maybe ding, ding, ding the flow down a little bit and kind of just smooth out the areas around there so it becomes believable. But you get the notion, you get the idea of the technique. The first part was super easy, right? Just use a, use a gradient when you've got the top half of the photo you like and the bottom half you, uh, you want to hide easy blending. But then for something like this, where you're bringing in silhouettes, check out the blending mode, darken, and it makes that, uh, that compositing that much easier. You know, use the tools to do heavier lifting for you. So your masking work is lighter. Hope you found the video useful and helpful. You got questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.